Welcome back, I'm Paco with it from the Waterfinger in your pocket. And so, guys, 82% of you are not subscribed to this channel. So, guys, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And hit that notification bell to get more of my videos. And hit that like button. So. And so, from the last part, Izuku killed himself by Daegizarad. And basically... He brought it back to a small town, and now they have they are celebrating. But something quite different is gonna happen later on the day. So as Izuku and everyone, including Jones and Don, they're like, <laughs> "Oh, stop being such a sore loser, John." It's Jones, sorry, but, I mean, come on, this could be quite impressive. Someone from this darn camp is going to be going to more bigger ones. Maybe the ones in the cities. I completely doubt it. What do you mean? The kid killed himself at Daikis of Rudd with only base level gear. And an explosive? Yes, that too. Plus there's his own traps. So, and killed nearly every other apex predator on this planet. So, th so, why don't you think he's going to go into the bigger camps? The ones who go into the bigger camps are not limited to the, to these guys. They go off world. Heck, they rarely come back. Rarely. That city, those cities might as well be Transport bays, because once they are there, they usually don't go off world, and they usually don't come back. The ones who come back have massive amounts of trophies and impressive technologies, but usually they don't come back. Heck, I, I, I bet good money that a couple of those guys who go off world are usually dead. Izuku, the kid, he's probably go into the much larger camps, but not into the cities. Please. You have very, you're a very doubtful person. I'm just being realistic. The ones who go to the cities are like one in a ten thousand, especially for those who have killed a Yauja. And they will never let someone like. You or me going there. Yeah, but the kid actually has himself a chance. I mean, he killed himself a Yauja, an elite, and a couple, well, excuse me. And he killed himself a couple regulars. That, and he also killed himself a Xenomorph. So, I think if, if anyone should go to those larger camps, it should be him. <sighs> Wait, what, do you have grown, what, has he grown on you already? Hmm, pretty much. I mean, the kid has shown some spunk. Besides, he reminds me of when you and I were a lot younger, remember that? All those times we had to fight for food, including the, the days of the shortages. Ah, uh, the shortages, I hated those days. We had to kill so many just to eat right. <sighs> yeah, I gotta agree with you there. But the kid, he has done some pretty good hunts. And he has fed this little camp very well. Especially with the the meat of the ex of the apexes. <sighs> but he isn't one of us. The difference between him and you and I is that we were born here. We spent our entire lives here. God, what would Dad think? I think he'd be quite proud of what you become now. I mean, he got killed by one of those things, remember? Yep. <sighs> Look, he may be from the home world, but he's practically one of us. He has earned his worth, and he has done the work for it. 
in my opinion, he has earned mine, and most likely, and should, your respect at this point. <sighs> I just hate that it's someone that young is already this prestigious. <sighs> I know, I know, Jones. I know. You're always somewhat of a sourpuss. Hey! I ain't gonna lie. You hate it when you lose. As we cut to Izuku after having a bit of a party. You know, after killing himself a, well, a rud. And so, the next day, he hears a knock on the door. Um, let me sleep. Hey! As he grabs a knife, as he's about to throw it, as he sees her. Ah, oh, great, it's you. Hello, bloodhound. <sighs> what do you want? I'm right now having a headache. Because of the little party last night? So you heard. Nearly everyone's heard that you killed a, you know, a rud without, you know, your armor. Only basic human gear. What? Is it true? Of course it is. It was a tough fight, but... Nothing that I can't handle. <clears throat> Good. Come. What? I said, come. Look. Look up. You know, I never actually got your name. Shade. Night Shade. Like the poison? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Just come. Look, just because you guys dropped me off on this little planet, not on Earth, doesn't mean you get to boss me around. <sighs> Why do humans have to be so damn difficult? Look, you're coming with me. Why? To prove your worth. Oh, crap. <sighs> Just come as you go walks with her. As they get onto, well, a Yowza ship and they head to the more to the mothership. Lilla. And so they meet up with the Alpha. Finally, you have arrived. Night Jade. Hm. I brought him as you asked. So, um, apparently what I'm understanding is, apparently I'm going to be going off world or something to prove my worth and get my mark. Yes, you will be. Uh, where exactly? That you do not need to know. But you will be going to a random world selected. By Nightshade here. What? Why me? Because you want him to go you want him to go to the much larger camps. Then you must provide a challenge worthy of such. Nothing more, nothing less. If, if you want him to have this privilege, then make him worthy of it. Now go. Improve your mark. We'll be watching, young bloodhound. Now go. As they leave. Wow. That was intense. Yeah, apparently. So you want me to go to the large camps, huh? <laughs> Wipe that s smug look off your face, human. And why is that? You got some admiration for me? <laughs> no. In a s well, in a way, you killed a yajja that was going to become an elite. It was going to become an elite very soon after the hunt. 
and you kill many other Yautras, young bloods and non blooded alike. And you killed yourself as xenomorph of your young age. Compared to the rest of your species. Well, thank you. You deserve better. For someone of your prestige, you deserve to be much be in the more larger camps, if not in the cities. Rarely you hear of a human killing a Diagizo Rudd and many other apex predators on that planet. Especially alone. Usually takes teams of hunters to actually get a kill like that. Well, thank you. I'm not done yet. Killing some of those predators, we may take a very skilled Yautja a hard time. You deserve much better than the rest of your kind. Well, thank you. So, what plan am I going to? I haven't decided yet, but... I think I have one in mind. One of our many preserves. Preserves? Uh, namely a plan to have worthy fauna to hunt. Particularly one that I'm thinking of is quite great. But the prey there are rare in number, sadly. And why is that? Let's just say some of our kind were a little too ambitious with their kills. <sighs> you know, I still can't understand some of your words yet. <laughs> Good, but I am learning. <sighs> As they get on a ship, as they go off, as as well, Nightshade is trying to find or trying to think of a of a nice little plan to go on. Izuku is tending to his gear. Okay, let's see what I got here. My wrist blades, one with a portable net. My smart discs, pike, knife, uh, what else? Ah, my darts, good for attacking from at least at minimum range. What else? Oh, my, my wares, my helmet, seems in good shape. Uh, filter is fine. Uh, seems like everything really tip chop shape. As a massive explosion is heard outside. What the? As more explosions keep going off. As a ship rocks. As he actually goes in front of the. Well, he goes to Nightshade. He says, Nightshade, what the heck is going on? We're being attacked. Bad bloods. Bad blood now. As more explosions keep going off. As they hear engines are failing. And they. As but Izuku's like, oh crap. As. Well, Shade says, we're gonna need to make an emergency landing. As they see this planet. This. This planet. It's orange. Let's just say that. As they as they just drop onto this planet. Right onto it. As well they crash. And they crash pretty badly. Rocks are flying. Dust is well dust is flying. As they finally stop. Oh. Ow. As Izuku just. Uh, as he gets up. He walks. Uh, I gotta make. If I'm gonna get out of here. I might as well be protected in case. Say anything gone wrong. 
So he puts on his mask and his gear, collects all the important supplies, and put one will put Shade's mask on her as he breaks the canopy of the ship and gets out and all he and he sees this new train and all he bloody sees is sand. Sand and bloody mountains. That's all he sees. Oh dear god, we're in a bloody desert. Well, can't we complain now? Just hope they can. Just hope the others. And just hope the clan can find us. As he starts walking. And as soon. Jade starts waking up. So you're waking up finally, huh? Oh, what happened? We crashed. Well, crap. Can you walk? Um, yeah. Alright. As he... Well, he basically just drops her. Ow! Stop complaining. Why do you put the mask... Why do you put my mask on me? Well, just in case this... You know, this area isn't really habitable for you and I. Come on. The sun is going to be setting in... What it looks like... The sun will be setting soon. We don't want to, well, see if there's any predators that we haven't encountered yet on this planet. <sighs> Wait, are we on a desert planet? Yep. So come on, let's hurry before it gets dark. As they keep on walking as night is coming, but they do see themselves a cave. <sighs> well... We staying there for a while. What? Why? Well, just in case there's any predators outside. Who knows? Maybe we might find something like a rut out here. Whatever lives out here, we might as we may want to be careful. So come on. It's only it's only a good idea. And so they get in. As they make camp. Ugh, come on, start you bastard. As he starts, well, lighting a switch. As soon. <sighs> this is nice and warm. As the fire heats up. As Shay comes and sits down. <sighs> as maybe an hour or two went by. And so he's do Starts having trouble with conversation. So why even kidnap, kidnap us humans anyway? We're not exactly all that powerful. Maybe what you believe. Bloodhound. Izuku. My name's Izuku. If we're going to be stuck here, we might as well be, well, somewhat formal. So, can you answer my question? Well, easy to do. At first, you humans were not all that special. You were quite weak. But your cunning and your savageness, well, they were quite compelling for a hunt. When we first made contact, you guys, one of your humans, killed one of us. And that got us intrigued. And soon we, those that survived our little hunts, and, well, well, they end up like how you ended up. They, we took them to one of our moons, and we put them in a camp. At first, the camps were quite small. Finding a human that was strong enough to both survive and also be, you know, willing. Basically, it was quite rare to find one on. Well, find a camp. Each clan has at least a couple camps to their name. But then, for some miraculous, miraculous reason, the power you people called quarks started to appear. Soon, people can unleash electricity beyond all measures. They have powers that 
were beyond our own coping. You humans started to adapt. Every time we tried to capture you guys, you guys made it harder and harder. But we were made, but became way more compelling to hunt. We chose humans on random. <laughs> you know, even to this day, there are a few humans on the moons that don't actually have quarks, mainly because they're related to the, to the originals. But now, now a good majority now are basically have these quarks, as you would put it. Uh, so, how long do you think till, well, the clan will try to pick us up or save our butts? I do not know. Maybe a week, maybe a month. Our ships are usually tracked, so it would take maybe less than a month, maybe more. Which is quite annoying. So, what was your very first kill, Izuku? Hmm? What was your first kill? In a hunt? I think my very first hunt was. I think it was a deer. A deer? A uh, four legged animal. They have fur. And they also have antlers on her head. Ah. That yeah, was my very first kill. Let me guess, yours was some kind of alien species or somewhat? Yeah, it was called a Zepnira. Very strange creature. Had many eyes. Can bite like the, can bite like hell, as you must have put it. <laughs> yeah, you're using the correct one. It had great mandibles. <laughs> Looking back at it now, it was quite weak. If I were to try to fight one of those things now, they were nothing more than no, pathetic insects. Well, that's age for you. The older you get, the better you get at things. <laughs> yeah, true. You might want to get some rest. Who knows what we're going to need to do tomorrow. I'll keep watch. Alright. As she sleeps with a knife in her hand. As I'm going to cut off here. So guys... Please like, share, and subscribe, and I might release another video soon. So, guys, take care, have a nice day, nice life. See ya next time.